The symposium is a really great place for patients and providers to actually come together and have conversations to bridge any gaps that there are that exist in healthcare, especially as it concerns the adult congenital heart population. Because of the successes of pediatric cardiology and especially pediatric congenital surgery, these patients are living long, healthy, productive lives. But that means that they still can develop later in life other congenital heart problems related to their initial problem. Or, in addition to that, the regular diseases that people develop when they get older, high blood pressure, diabetes, breathing issues. So these are things, so having a specialty that is able to care for this precious population is important. And that's how ACHD formed, and that's why it is thriving today. This is the first time I've been to anything like this with other congenital heart patients uh, that have something similar to what I have, and getting to meet them, and again, to see the technology. and. Um, I just really appreciate Dr. Lin's, the work he does, the research. Basically just the hands-on and being able to see it and you know because usually when you're having it done you're asleep right. so <laughs> it's kind of nice to be able to see what they what they did and what they can do now. I think for a patient population it's critical for the patients and their family members to have a network for which they can identify with uh, and also to meet the providers that are so involved in their care in the hospital, to have that one-on-one -on -one, uh, informational background as well as to give the patients the confidence as a, an informed consumer as to what is going on with their care. It provides a good uh, background as to what goes on in adult congenital heart. And that's why we started the Adult Congenital Heart Symposium here at Houston Methodist so that we could bring together patients who were born with congenital heart disease and providers who take care of adults with congenital heart disease, as well as providers who want to learn more about adults with congenital heart disease. Bring all of these groups together to really learn more about how we can do a better job of taking care of this new, energetic, and successful population.